we're starting in a wide child's pose. So your knees are going to be wide, big toes touching at the back of your mat. And begin to walk your hands out in front of you. And rest your belly, maybe your chest and your forehead down. Maybe not your belly. And when you're here, just take a moment. <clears throat> connect to your breath. Feel the ground beneath your hands, beneath your skin. And have that moment of peace just for yourself. You can't see anyone. Imagine you're just by yourself. And setting maybe a seed of thought, a seed of intention in your mind before beginning to move. Now from where you are, lift up your head and you're just going to walk your hands over towards the right. So just walking them over towards the right quite a lot so that your belly maybe comes above the right thigh and then relaxing there. Enjoy the side stretch. Let's lift up and walk towards the left. See if you can reach above the left thigh with your belly, with something. And as you drop here, send your hips back towards your heels. Lifting up, come to center. And you're going to come into a tabletop. So lifting your hips above your knees, make sure you're towards the top of your mat. Spread your hands. Let's take our cat cow. Drop your belly, arch your spine, look forwards. Round your spine, tuck your tailbone under. Inhale into your back bend. Exhale into your rounding, beautiful cat. And then come into that neutral position between the two, where you feel there isn't an arch or a rounding in any part of your spine. Imagine you balance a cup of coffee on your lower back and even your upper back, maybe even behind your neck. So make sure you're looking down. Now keep this stability, this shape, and you're going to have to use your core. Lift your left leg behind you and stretch your right arm in front of you like you're about to shake someone's hand. Yes, you're going to, want, you're going to feel that your body wants to compensate by tipping somewhere. Try and hold it. Squeeze through your core, that left glute. Inhale. Exhale. Tap elbow to knee. Inhale, reach away. And exhale, we tap. One more. So if this is different from before when we've gone free. Let's be more stable. Exhale, tap. Inhale, reach. And lower down. Let's switch it. Right leg goes straight back behind you. Left arm reaches in front, shake someone's hand. Take a moment to find that coffee cup. Balancing, level on your spine. Inhale. Exhale, tap. Elbow to knee. Inhale, reach away. Exhale, tap. This is your thing, do it your way. Inhale, reach. Last time, exhale, tap. Inhale, reach, stay for another moment. And exhale, hand and knee comes down. Lift your hips to the sky, take your stretch, your first downward facing dog. Spread your fingers, feel your forearms are magnetized towards one another. Imagine your hands, that there's a little bit of energy right in the center of your palm, lifting up from the earth. Take a long inhalation here through your side waist. And exhale through your mouth. Now I'm going to walk your hands towards the back of the mat. Take your time, one hand at a time, until your heels come down, soften your knees, take your fold. I almost always do this, as we notice. So try to completely relax. It's your moment for your spine to decompress. 
for you to feel the back of your legs kind of wake up. Take another breath here. And then roll up slowly, vertebra by vertebra. Shoulders come back. Inhale, reach your arms to the side and up. Stay where you are. I'm going to my knees so that you can see me. But you're going to be standing on your feet. Now, as you inhale, reach your fingers high up. And as you exhale, knit your ribs towards your pelvis. So we want to do this. As we exhale, we knit. We bring the rib cage closer to the pelvis. We use our core. And now feel the stretch, how it comes from your armpits, maybe a bit more from your shoulders. Beautiful. Bring your hands to your heart. Samastiti. Take a moment, take a breath. Inhale, shoot your arms straight up again. Stretch. Exhale, take your fold front and down over your legs. <clears throat> or walk your hands forwards, downward facing dog. And now shift your shoulders above your wrists into plank. Knees can be down or they can be lifted. Let's lower halfway to the floor. And then let's come to our cobra. You can relax your thighs down, or you can keep your knees lifted, thighs and knees. This is our cobra. Open heart, shoulders back. Exhale, tuck toes, hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Walk your hands to the back of the mat again, one at a time. Once you're there, fold, relax your head. Inhale, slowly roll up. Shoulders go back. Keep breathing in, reach your arms to the side and up. As you exhale, those rib cage, that rib cage tips down. It's very small movement. Bring your hands to your heart. Take a breath. One smile. <laughs> Inhale, shoot your arms up. Exhale, fold front and down. Beautiful. Walking back forwards to downward facing dog. Send your hips to the sky, spread your fingers. See if your legs can go to straighter. Inhale here. Exhale, plank. Inhale, plank. Exhale, take your yogi push-up, chaturanga. Inhale to your cobra, or maybe upward facing dog. Legs off the floor. Exhale to your downward facing dog. Maybe rolling over the toes to get there. Take one big breath here. Tap into that ujjayi breath if you'd like to use it for more strength, for more power maybe. <clears throat> Beautiful. From here, let's come back towards plank. And now come to the, to the outside of your left foot, the outer edge of your left foot, and you can stack your right foot on top or keep it staggered in front. Your choice. Peel your heart open, right fingers reach up. Press down through your left hand. And now inhale. Exhale, knit that rib cage towards the pelvis. So a little squeeze, a little more connection there. And now lean your head, your skull, back in line with your spine. Don't let it, let it hang out in front of you. Bring everything into alignment. Squeeze inner thighs, firm outer hips. Lift your hips a little bit higher. Yes, bring your right hand down. Let's come to the outer edge of your right foot. Stacking left above right. Slowly peel open, left fingers reach up towards the sky. Take your moment, really firm through this right palm, this right shoulder. Inhale. Exhale, knitting ribs together and down. Lean your head back. A gentle tuck of your chin in. Engage your legs, your glutes. Beautiful. Left hand comes down, find your plank, and slowly lower all the way to your belly. All the way to your belly, to the floor. Untuck your toes. Reach your fingers behind you, and cross your hands 
by your lower back. We have interlaced fingers. Inhale, reach your knuckles back. Lift your chest. Keep looking down at the mat. See if you can lift your arms off of your legs or your bum. Keep breathing here. Broad collarbones. Just pushing down through your legs, maybe the tops of your feet. One more breath. And then slowly unclasp your hands. Bring your hands by your ribs, below your elbows. Keep those collarbones broad. One more breath. Tuck your toes. Imagine you're a strong plank of wood. Can you push back up to your plank? Using your core, maybe a bit shaky, that's fine. Inhale, exhale, lower to your belly. Untuck your toes, interlace your fingers behind. Inhale, squeeze shoulder blades, lift your chest. Chase the feet behind you with your knuckles. One more moment. Bye. <laughs> and then slowly unclasp your hands, hands to your sides of your ribs, tuck toes and push to plank. You got it. Downward facing dog. Hips to the sky. Take a moment. Who, was it? Who said boy? <laughs> Hips to the sky. Enjoy. If you need a child's pose, take a break. From here, let's move on. Let's move into some different movement. Sweep your right leg up to the sky. Inhale. Exhale. Right knee towards your right armpit. Tap. Inhale. Lift high. Exhale. Right knee towards your left armpit. Or maybe just your left tricep. Inhale, lift eye. Exhale, right knee to right to the right nose, to your nose. Inhale, sweep high. Exhale, step forwards towards your right thumb. So hop right hip back and in before you do anything else. So you really want to find that balance and that strength. And now you're going to lift all the way up into your crescent lunge. Reach your arms up. Beautiful. Bend your back knee. Drop your right arm by your side. Now tuck your tailbone slightly under. So we're really squeezing our glute. We're, we're like we're trying to squeeze something underneath us. <laughs> Inhale here. And as you exhale, those ribs as well come towards your pelvis. So we have these opposing forces, right? Beautiful. And now lean to the right, keeping that. So you should feel it more in your hip flexors, your left hip flexor. Inhale, let's lift up. Exhale, find the floor. Take a vinyasa if you'd like, or go straight to downward facing dog. There's no shame in it. You have to do what works for you. Meeting, everybody meets in downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg goes to the sky. Exhale, left knee to left armpit. Lift high. Exhale, left knee towards your right. Inhale to lift. Exhale, left knee to nose. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, step your left foot to your left thumb. First, we plant down to that left heel. We wrap this left hip back and in. And then we rise. Find your crescent lunge. Inhale. Exhale, back knee bends. Squeezing through the seat, rounding slightly underneath. Knitting the, the, the rib cage to the pelvis. Oh yeah, drop your left arm by your left side and start to take a side bend. It doesn't have to be huge, it can be small. Breathing. Beautiful moving breaths. One more breath here. Inhale to lift. Exhale, hands down. Vinyasa or downward facing dog. If you're doing vinyasa, don't forget to breathe. 
Inhale through your back bend. Exhale through your downward facing dog. Press the ground away. Take another moment. Take that filling breath. Maybe that ujjayi breath that you need. Lift your heels, bend your knees, look to the top. Step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale to lift halfway up. Exhale, fold in towards your legs. Inhale as you rise up, bend your knees and sit back in your chair. Utkatasana. Arms reach up. Now here your knees and your feet can be hips distance apart or you can step together and squeeze in. What feels better for you, right? Stay here for four more breaths. Breathe with it. And start to notice the movement of the rib, rib cage. As you inhale, you can let it lift up and away a little bit. It needs to accommodate more space with breath. And as you exhale, start to bring it back in towards your pelvis. Let's take two more breaths here. And one more breath, you can do it. Inhale, let's rise up. Exhale, twist to the right, spread your arms. Inhale, straight up. Exhale, twist to the left, spread your arms. Inhale, up. One more time on each side. Exhale to the right. Inhale, lift. Exhale to the left. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, plant your palms. Step to down dog or take a vinyasa. If you're doing a vinyasa, squeeze elbows to the sides of your waist as you lower. Feel free to take it low and slow, cobra. Downward facing dog. Step your right foot to the top of your mat and set up for warrior one. So warrior one, your left heel comes down, left toes are slightly more than 45 degrees front. So your left toes are facing more front than they are towards the left. <laughs> that makes sense. So that your hips can still square off towards the front of the mat. Inhale, let's stretch this right leg. And then let's interlace our fingers behind our back, just like we did on the floor. Inhale, lift from your heart, your middle and your upper spine. Engage this front leg. Exhale, start to lean front and down, maybe 45 degrees. Pause. Can you feel equal weight in your right and your left foot? Try and make it equal. Strong right leg. And then if you'd like, you can take it further. Inhale, exhale, folding, shoulders away. And if you have interlaced fingers, maybe your arms go up and over. Take your fold. If this is a work for you, just hold your hips, stay higher. Take a moment, feel long through your side body. Release your head. Slowly release your hands towards your lower back, down to the floor, and bring your fingertips in front of your, of your, of your right foot. Micro bend your right knee if you need, or bend it really deeply if you need to hide, find the floor. Now we're going to balance on this right foot. So bring your fingertips in front, slowly pour the weight into your right foot, lift your left leg up. Wrap your right hip around and in. Beautiful. Point your back toes towards the floor. Push an imaginary wall with that left foot. Gorgeous. Small micro bend in that right knee. Press down through your right foot. Stable right leg. Imagine all four sides of your waist and all four sides of the back of your neck are long. Now, if you have perfect alignment here, maybe you take it to the next stage. If you'd like to stay here, stay here. 
If not, try and lift one hand to the back. And maybe your other, you'll have to lift your chest a little bit more. Cinch at your waist for five, four, three, two, and one. Bend this right knee, step back, crescent lunge. Inhale, arms go up, arms go up. Exhale, vinyasa or downward facing dog. Clearing it out. Enjoy. Meet in your down dog. Step your left foot forwards. Set up that back foot for warrior one and rise. Take a moment. You can adjust your feet slightly wider. And now inhale, stretch your left leg. Pop this back foot in closer if you need. Or even lift the heel off if you need. Now interlace your fingers behind you. Inhale, lift your chest, your heart. Exhale, strong left leg. Come 45 degrees down. Balance out the weight between that left and that right foot. Can we breathe long breaths? Beautiful. Bending that front knee is perfectly fine. Now inhale, exhale, see if you can fold a bit deeper. Only do this if this is what your body calls for. If it feels nice to release your fingers down instead, go for it. The whole point is trying to find ease through moments of challenge and tension. One more breath here. Focus on those principles of your ribs, that long side body, no hinging at the back of your neck. And now bend your left knee, bring your fingertips slightly more front, as far front as you need them. Start to lift your right leg up, squeezing your thighs. Same thing as before, pressing that right foot into a wall. Pushing down through that left heel, wrapping that left hip around and back. Like the hip crease wants to turn to the back. If you're all good here, maybe try and lift your left hand behind you. And maybe your right hand, cinch at the waist. Holding for five, four, three, two, and one. Yes, bend your left knee, step back, rise with your arms. Breathe, exhale, vinyasa or downward facing dog. You got it. Take a moment, stay in your down dog if that feels good. Take a bit of a breather in child's pose if that feels better. I'm gonna allow you, not allow you, I'm gonna encourage you to find some softness now. Find some softness in your breath. Find some softness around your forehead your temples. And then notice as you inhale and exhale, whether you're in down dog or child's pose, that natural expansion of your ribs and how it all narrows in, comes closer as you breathe out. Just one more breath. A little tip for those of you who feel your spine is rounding in down facing dog, is you could elevate your hands on books or blocks. That could help in the future, just if you are interested. It's also nice sometimes. All right, everybody meet in downward facing dog. We're gonna all drop our elbows to the floor and just take a, a, a dolphin's pose for a moment. So elbows are down, relax your head just like, just like a downward facing dog. Take a moment to really push the ground using your shoulders. The strength of this shoulder girdle so you can completely relax your head. Maybe knees are slightly bent, but hips are reaching to the sky. Nevertheless. And from here, everybody lower your knees down. Send your hips back briefly, child's pose. And when ready, sweep your legs to one side and in front of you. Stretch your legs out in front of you. We're sitting in Dandasana posture. I believe this is called staff pose. 
take a moment to just ground down through your sit bones, sitting tall. Notice that heaviness of gravity when you've got everything stacked above your hips. Now step your feet down. Roll onto that beautiful balancing point between your tailbone and your sit bones and reach your shins, your legs up into our boat pose. Reach your arms forwards. Roll your shoulder blades back. Breathing here. A bit of core strength. You can make it easy. You can make it challenging for yourself. Hug your knees towards your chest. Beautiful. Sitting even taller. Long spine. Four, five. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly lower all the way towards the floor. Step your feet down. And lift your hips up. Finding your bridge. Keep lifting your hips up. You're staying here. Make sure your toes are pointing forwards. Make sure that you're really squeezing through your butt cheeks and your tailbone is reaching towards the back of your knees. See if you can knit your ribs in towards your pelvis as you exhale. We have a tendency here to, let, to ex aggressively exaggerate the curve in our lumbar spine. So turn your hamstrings on and maybe don't go as high as you need to. And see if you can step your feet closer or further away, what, how it changes things for you. Beautiful. Why our lumbar spine tends to drop here is because that's where the ribs run out. So there's less stability. So we have to use our strength in our legs. Just two more breaths. Notice or feel an even curve to, throughout that spine. And after your exhalation, slowly lowering down. Beautiful. I'd like you to cross your legs, maybe cross your right leg above your left, like you're sitting cross-legged in a chair. And now bring your knees towards you and see if you can grab a hold of the outsides of your feet, the tops of your feet, sorry. And as you just pull your legs towards you, just enjoy the stretch. Take a moment, release to the earth. Let's slowly release our legs, uncross them the other way, left above right, find the tops of your feet, or maybe even just your shins if you can't find the feet. And then as you rest your head, just a gentle tug and pull towards you, using your arms. Relax through your belly. Two more breaths here. And slowly release. Shake yourself out. Take any final motion, motions and movements you need to make. And stretch your body long for a brief Shavasana. Just slowly allow your temples, your forehead to soften. And feel your legs drop, even your scalp kind of release. Let the muscles of your feet, even the tiny little joints, just relax, melt away. And for the final few moments, just practice observing the sensations in your body. Slowly, you're going to bring yourself back to life. 
to this piece with you. And continue doing this in any moment of silence or pause in the day. Bring yourself up to your seat, palms at your heart, taking an invigorating breath in and sigh it out and just bowing towards yourself, a moment of thanks.